setting the time and date to set the time and date on this watch um, we're gonna go to the procedure of those but first of all we have to configure the home city settings and there are two home city settings actually selecting the home city and selecting either standard time or daylight saving time that's the DST to configure the home city and summer time settings in the timekeeping mode first of all pull the crown out uh, that's the unlock and then pull one click and the city will flash on the digital display indicating that the home city settings can be changed for details about the city codes you can um, find the city code timetable rotate the crown to move the second hand to the city code of the city you want to use as your home city currently my uh, home city is paris so i've done that previously but here is the demo of that when i'm shuffling the crown or moving the crown actually rotating it i'm shuffling between between these time zones or the cities that represent these uh, time zones now i'm gonna go back to paris because you get the uh, procedure and the point of this uh, segment that's the paris time zone uh, how to enter the uh, dst setting screen well that's done by pressing the mode button over here and we have the dst setting uh, currently on now we have the DST auto off or on I'm gonna leave it at auto because that's the best uh, and that's the preset value of the watch and that's the best option for the uh, timekeeping um, after you change the home city uh, or the DST settings the hour hand and the minute hand will automatically move to the appropriate time saving mode after the settings are done the way you want push the crown back in that's the click and then lock it and the daylight saving time uh, is turned on when the DST setting is on the lower display now there that's not currently shown because I'm not in the DST time zone but when I was rotating the crown you can uh, you saw that when the DST was on DST mark was uh, lit up here configuring current time and date settings manually now you can uh, configure current time and date settings manually when the watch is unable to receive a time calibration signal as i talked previously about the time calibration signal to change the current time and date settings manually in the timekeeping mode first uh, pull out the crown and this will cause um, city to flash on the lower sub dial uh, next tip next step uh, next uh, per, uh, step would be to press the upper or the display button uh, shown on the bezel and this uh, will indicate the hour and minutes time to flash the second hand will point either to am or the pm that's the a that's the p standing for the uh, uh, this is the setting mode in the following steps i'm going to show you how the um, to cycle between the settings of the watch now uh, rotating the crown moves us to the hour and the minute settings sorry yes the hour and the minute settings and when i'm rotating the crown uh, uh, i'm uh, able to adjust the settings and when i saw it rotated it faster uh, the crown the hand started to move faster and when i rotate it back i have to go one step at a time so that's basically the procedure of setting the hour and the minute hands uh, to the correct time it's 12 15 i'm gonna get it to the 12 15 each press of the um uh, each press of the um, b button shuffles to the hours uh, next setting and that's the hour setting currently rotating the crown moves the uh, hour hand Next up, pressing the uh, mode button again, shifts us to the year setting, and that's done also by rotating the crown. Next press gets us to the rotation of the day and month and day. Uh, I previously said uh, that you can enter the high speed and uh, two increments of speed. Uh, when rotating the, these uh, hands and that's the for fast adjustment of the hands and um, basically that would be the settings of the um, 
time, date, year, hour, minute, and the home city or the uh, daylight saving time mode. Once we are done with that, push the crown back in and the time will, uh, with get, with, will get to the standard timekeeping mode or the time you have previously preset. Additional settings of the watch including the 12 and 24 hour format since this is the, a part of the setting the time and date. Now in the standard timekeeping mode uh, first unscrew the crown or uh, unlock it and then pull one click and then the city code will flash uh, on the sub dial. Next uh, press would be the mode button and now we are shuffling between the DST time and we can move it from the auto on or off. I'm gonna leave it at auto setting. Next press uh, is uh, shuffling the key or the button tone operation and I can move it between the mute and the button tone operation on. Next press of the mode button gets us to the auto illumination settings and the auto illumination is the um, when you flick your wrist to see what the time what's the time the uh, auto loom will uh, turn on next press the light that is the uh, duration of the light when you press the L button and the uh, auto illumination duration and I can flip, uh, swap it between one second and three seconds Next press of the mode button gets us to 24 hour and 12 hour format and I'm gonna leave it at the 12, 24 hour format. Next press on the mode button gets us to the uh, option to turn on or off power saving mode and I talked about it about in the um, uh, part where I, uh, of the charging mode and the solar, solar cell of the watch. Next press of the mode button returns us to the standard timekeeping Oh, sorry, to the uh, setting of the home city and the first step of the uh, setting of the watch. So we are ran through the cycles of setting the watch and now I'm back at the setting the time. So shuffling between, I get to set the uh, hour, minutes, hour, uh, year and date setting. So that would be uh, with this uh, part, I'm going to conclude all the settings of the time and date. Once you are done, um, push the crown back in the time will return to the standard timekeeping and the crown push the crown back in and rotate it to lock it in place